Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, I'm once again taking a look at one of your designs that you have linked me in the comment section of one of my videos. And if you wish to see something of yours shown on this channel, just leave me the Steam Workshop link somewhere and I'll eventually get around to it. But for today, we're looking at a small lunar rover called the Lunar Scooter, which is this lovely thing right here. It's a very small, very compact rover for you to go and play around with on the moon's surface. Featuring a couple of batteries to keep you going, a hydrogen engine just to recharge the batteries if they ever run out, and a emergency reactor if you've managed to find uranium. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, there it is. The Lunar Scooter is only 110 small blocks, requiring the decorative block number 2 DLC pack. And that is that. So what we're going to do is have a quick look around the outside. Then we're going to play around with it on the surface and perhaps go off and visit. Where are they? There they are. The space pirates. Which are just a short distance away. So at the very front here, this is what we get. We've got the gyroscope to help us control the vehicle. Because it's low gravity and quite easy to crash into stuff without it. We've got a battery on the left which is just being covered up by a window block and two interior lights to light up the darkness. As we move around the side, let me just move my character out of the way, there we go. We can see we've got our lovely wheels right there, and where our control seat is sitting, along with a bunch of LCD screens, which has the artificial horizon script in there, which will tell you when you need to pull up, otherwise you risk crashing into it. We've got a programmable block there, just displaying our hydrogen and power usage, and we've got some more batteries just dotted around. As we move along the side, another battery, a handy little ore detector and an antenna to make sure we can always find this rover. And then towards the back, there's our emergency reactor, which I've turned off for the purpose of this showcase. And a connector at the back to store up anything you need, and of course to pull along a trailer if you wanted to do that. Just below that, we've got our brake lights, which is simply some red interior lights. And we can see how that's been connected up to the main body via a conveyor. Coming across to this side, this is our hydrogen engine, which is going to be used as an emergency power source when we don't have access to uranium and our batteries need to be recharged. Let me come over to this bit right here, which is a rotor that can spin around and a hinge on top of it to angle the spotlight to ensure we can always get into those nooks and crannies of those dark places. And of course, a cargo container which sits just behind our chair. Coming down and underneath this thing, there's not too much else to talk about. It's just got a firm bodywork with a hydrogen tank right there, which can be recharged via our connector. And there we go. So now it's time to get into it, and this is where the fun begins. I forgot how fun it was to drive a small rover across the moon's surface. The low gravity does make it a bit more risky and a lot more enjoyable than just going splat into the side because you accidentally went off a cliff. Yes, for our HUD setup, this is what we get. Number one is for the manual controls over our brakes, just in case we do have a trailer or we are connected up to something and we don't want to disconnect our connector. Number two and three is for our hinge, which sits over there. So bring the free camera over and going like so. Pressing number three will unlock our hinge and number two will allow us to tilt it backwards and tilt it forwards. 4 and 5 is basically the same except for our rotor. 5 will unlock it and 4 will change the direction. 6 and 7 is for the power of our wheels, where we don't really want to play around with that too much, otherwise we will just do a backflip as soon as we try to move. 8 is our hydrogen engine on and off if we need that power. We go from 5 hours of power, which is just the batteries, to 37 years thanks to our hydrogen engine. And number 9 is the manual controls for our connector. Number two and three are empty, so it's time to drive this thing around. So let's go for a little ride with this rover. So going forwards, we are going to tilt up a little bit, but we just need to pull down with our mouse thanks to that gyroscope, and we'll be firmly on the ground to drive this thing around. If we're not too happy with the power of the wheels, we can switch them all the way down, which will make it a lot more controllable, because if we were to whack that up, we will start to tilt up as soon as we try to move. So putting our brakes on, like so, then turning them off and going forwards, we're going to flip up quite badly, so we will want to lower that all the way down. There we go. And driving it around, we have a maximum speed 
of almost 12 meters per second, which is perfectly safe when going around in low gravity. We can of course do our little hop by pressing X like so and just do a little glide over a small distance. Yes, it's a very nice little thing and we can look around, it's nice and safe, plenty of power to last us a long time. And we can, if we come over to this little bump, attempt to do a backflip. And I successfully did that without damaging it. That took two attempts to do, but luckily you won't see the first attempt. To make this a little bit better, let's come over to here, find our wheels, and should we remove the speed limit? Because I'm sure nothing bad will go wrong with that. Here we go, we're going to go super fast over to those pirates, and then say hello. It's starting to get a little bit uncontrollable with the low gravity. Trying to keep control. Our little script there is saying us to pull up because we are in danger of crashing. But so far, this little rover is doing very, very well. And there we go. I think we might be able to get into space like this. We are traveling at some amazing speed and it's only 50 meters per second. We can go another 50. Let's go like that. A little hop over all these little bouncy parts. And we're making some great timing with this. We do have a small little bump coming up there. Let's hope we don't crash into it and damage it. Whoop! There we go. Come on, little rover. You can do this. Oh, God. Here we go. All the way over. I can see the pirate outpost over there. There's a little bubble. I do not want to land in a crater like that because I don't think we have the suspension to be able to do that. And don't tilt down. Oh, this is going to be a bad one. Here we go. And there we go. Realign myself with the pirates, and then we'll go say hello. This vehicle is surprisingly sturdy, and that's what I found out with my little testing while I've just been riding it around the moon's surface, is it takes quite a lot to break this thing. The armoured blocks on this are doing a great job of protecting the internals, and even if you did a full frontal hit into something, it's not going to be the end of the world. And we have lost our back wheels, but because we're on the moon, and we have a gyroscope, that means nothing. We can still continue along there. It's only if we lose our front wheels is this going to be a problem. And we'll slowly crawl our way over to the pirate base. So if we come like that and try to... Might need to tilt myself all the way around just to be able to get these wheels on. Control there, wheels, and wheels. There we go. And away we go. We've just salvaged this vehicle. Although I don't think we have the momentum to actually be able to get up there. Might need to spawn in a new one, but I'm determined to do it with this one. Because we are so close now. Don't want to disappoint. And away we go. And we're continuing along. We're so close now. We still got both our back wheels. I thought for a second there I lost the back right one. 500 meters. Here we go. And then that will be the end of this video. I know not too many people might appreciate this kind of showcase on such a small rover, but I certainly like these things, and they are a lot of fun to play around with, especially when you trying to do something silly like this. The removal of the speed limit is going to be the main cause of why this thing is breaking apart, and we will get there. We're so close now. All the way over. I think one of our front wheels is now getting damaged. Don't tip over. No. So close. Although we did. We did just hit our spotlight, but the spotlight seems to be almost indestructible. There we are, approaching the pirate base. I'm sure they'll be happy to see us and will offer us some repairs. We're in the safe zone now. I can't remember if the pirate zones have turrets or not. I don't think they will. I don't think they're that mean, being in a safe zone with turrets. But here we are. We've made it to the pirate outpost on the moon. We can't damage ourselves any further here. Although I don't think, will they actually allow me to connect up? I'm not sure. I don't think they will, but I'm considering that a victory. We have came over to here. We are semi-connected up, or at least as connected up as it can be with the enemy. And yes, it's a sturdy little rover for you to download and play around with. So there'll be a link to it in the description below if you did want to play around for yourself. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.